Hi guys, Joseph the World here, and today we're going to be talking about a yet another nonce, and this predator is called Callum Lee Bates, and we're going to be talking about what happened to him after the nonce sting. Usually I would start off the video with a clip or a short video of uh, something recognisable from the actual nonce sting. Because usually there's a clip that circles around that com becomes a meme. Kind of like uh, the bald nonce, uh, the goblin nonce, uh, Matt Feely, that kind of thing. But the nonce thing itself is... I'm sure some people obviously probably know about this. Probably why you clicked on this video. But also... The video itself doesn't have a lot of views. I don't know how much it got originally and i don't know if this is a real word or whatever but a link in the description will be left if you do want to go check out the original video Callum Lee bates attempted to meet up with what he thought to be a boy under the age of 16 in early january 2018 when in reality it was actually skid community which is a predator hunting group in the beginning of the non-sting video where they confront him and ask if they know the kid, or at least the kid that they thought he was here to meet up and arrange. He said, or hesitantly said, yes, he did. And at that point, they went on to confront him about why he wanted to meet up with, an, with a child who was under the age of 16. Originally, the text between them said um, that the child he was trying to meet was 15 to 16, I believe. Then he, they said, or the decoy said, that they were actually nine, which they actually wasn't, but they said that they were actually nine, and multiple times uh, Callum was fine with that. And in these disgusting text messages, he explained in great detail what he would do to what he thought was a nine-year-old. And he managed to... He thought he convinced the nine-year-old to travel over... 55 minutes on at 9, I think, at 9 p.m. at night uh, on a train by himself to come meet up with him for uh, disgusting acts at his house. In the messages between the fake nine-year-old and Callum, the fake nine-year-old uh, expresses concern of uh, getting in trouble because of this is wrong or they could get in trouble. But Callum eggs him on and tries to impress the nine-year-old by saying they can't get in trouble because he's a police officer, which he actually likes. As a result of Callum's actions, uh, he received a three-year community order and was ordered to take part in a 60 rehabilitation activity days. In addition to that, he was also placed on the sex offenders register for five years and was made subject to a five-year sexual harm prevention order. But the story doesn't end there. And then in February of 2021, I believe, he breached his sexual harm prevent prevention order because he used the uh, dating app known as Grinder and actually came in contact with a 13-year-old boy. The 13-year-old boy obviously lied about their age, but then later in the conversation, he goes on to explain he was 13, year old, 13 years old, but Callum was still fine with that. And in court, he admitted to breaching this. The prosecutor and defender obviously said, you know, he, why he should be sentenced to either longer in prison, or why he should be either let off, or sentence is something far less than what he should get. And the judge, unfortunately, didn't send him to prison, even though he 100% deserved it, and only sentenced him to a nearly two-year mental health uh, thing. Pro a mental health program, my bad. Seems to be a trend in these videos when I do cover Predators. That the, uh, they usually get a win. Sorry about that. Um... It seems to be a trend in these videos, though. Every time I do cover a Predator, they usually get away with it in some degree. Obviously, being put on the sex offenders list is mad, and he 100% deserves to be on that. But the fact that he got no prison time, even after 
breaking the rules that he said that he wasn't allowed contact with one is honestly just disgusting. And I think it says something about a lot about this country when I look into all these predators and yet they get away with so much. Like the last guy we covered, uh, a dwarf nonce, the motherfucker got away with it because he was shot. Well, uh, this country is a fucking joke. And I'm aware that's been jealous of the world. Make sure to like and subscribe for me to rag on more predators. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.